Hello America and welcome back to my music channel which I have renamed The Real Music Observer and uh, kind of a play on words, a little bit of a pun because I believe real music is mostly dead. It's mostly uh, already been recorded but there are some new things that do come out either by old bands or by folks who more or less want to try to keep the music alive. My name is Dave, and I've done a few videos so far on this channel, which was formerly known as Classic Rock Chat. Uh, and I want to talk again about Jeff Coffey and the band Chicago. And the reason I want to talk about it is I've noticed some things that are a little bit interesting and a little bit annoying about the way Chicago is handling Jeff Coffey's, uh, you know, filling in role for Jason Chef, who is at least on temporary leave of absence, and I'm starting to think that maybe he's coming back because Chicago doesn't seem to want to give Jeff Coffee any kudos whatsoever. Uh, no mention of Coffee on the Chicago page, the main Chicago page. No mention of him. Okay, no. Uh, Nothing under the news. you think that would be a big news story. And kind of perplexing as well, nothing about Jason Sheff taking a leave of absence. Look, I know promoters need to be paid. I know venues need to be filled and tickets need to be sold. And maybe Chicago was fearful. Their manager, I believe, is Peter... Uh, Ciccarelli or Chirelli, I forget how do you, I don't know how you pronounce the guy's last name. Uh, Italian guy from Chicago, and he sounds like it. He's been with the band for quite a long time. Uh, and he's been a great cheerleader for the band and a great promoter. I can't say that he's a bad dude or anything like that. But what I will say is that it's kind of odd that there's nothing on Chicago's website, at least welcoming coffee to the fold for even if it's a temporary gig, even for a little while. The other thing that is perplexing is I've been watching some videos from this latest tour that Chicago is on. And someone just uploaded one with Chicago's classic song, Call On Me, which is one of my favorite tunes. It was a tune that I think Jason did fairly well when he was with uh, or in the band. He may be coming back, so... Shh, I'm sorry, Jason. Um, that was a little bit of a Freudian slip. What I've noticed, however, is <laughs> that um, Jeff Coffey isn't getting to sing that song. All right? Now, I know they farm out, like, old days to Keith Howland, which I think is ridiculous. I love Keith. Keith, you're a great guitar player. But you can't sing. And just it's, it's all up here! I'm Keith Howland! I'm sorry, Keith. Vo the, you're a great guitar player, but your voice is like howling, like Keith Howling instead of Howland. Anyway, Chicago lets Keith sing Old Days, and he spanks the life out of it. Sounds like a, a mouse being stepped on. Not a good choice, not a good idea. Let's just be real about it, okay? Again, I love Keith. I think Keith has emulated the Terry Kath guitar playing best he can. But vocally, he doesn't really add much. He can do some background vocals. But what I noticed on Call On Me is Lou Pardini is singing Call On Me. Huh? What? Um, perfect song to showcase Jeff. I mean, Jeff has been killing it. Jeff, and it's funny, because the band's signature song, 25 or 6 to 4, um, Coffee has to sing that. They cannot give that to anybody else. Robert Lamb's not going to sing it. Uh, I think it would be a disaster if anybody who didn't have a tenor uh, tried to sing it, including Keith Howland, who would butcher it. Okay, So, Coffee gets up there and hits it out of the park. Now, I had one comment on, I believe, my first YouTube video, which is approaching, I think, 700 views, for a guy with a, a, a crappy camera phone, uh, video player, recorder, whatever. It's, that's not a bad... Uh, number of views. But my point here is Chicago seems to be saying, 
Oh, who? Jeff who? Never heard of him. Uh, eh. Yeah, he's in the band, but, you know, it's temporary, and we're not really going to talk about him. And we're not going to put it on our website that he's here. We're not going to talk about Jason Chef. And and just like they're hand handling the whole Walter Perizader thing, okay? Where's Walter? Make an announcement that Walter doesn't want a tour. Just be honest. Say that Walter's only going to be at this show and that show. They don't want to do that because they don't want to disappoint longtime fans. Okay? But we're, you know, we're adults. We can handle it. When Peter Cetera left, we handled it. When Bill Champlin left, we handled it. When Jason Sheff left, at least on a temporary basis, we've been handling it. In fact, some of us have been celebrating it. So don't get on our cases by being secretive and covert and just... It's just odd because I love this band, but they are not handling this whole event very well. And if it's going to become a nostalgia act where there are no original members, fine. If people want to go and see the band without Robert Lamb or... Because Robert Lamb doesn't actually have a lot of material with the band. He's got some real classic old stuff. You know, Saturday in the Park, Do You Know What Time It Is, and uh, Beginnings. Those are the three big Robert Lamb tunes that... Uh, are featured on tour, but that's three, okay? You could do a whole slew of Satara, Tenor, Jason Chef kind of tunes with Jeff Coffey and a, and a kick-ass band, and there may be a lot of people that are like, yeah, baby, um, bring back Danny Serafin on drums. He'd love to come back. Triz does a great job, but, I mean, if you want to bring some original members back in, Bill Champlin... Maybe he'd come back because maybe he doesn't like some of the other guys. I don't know. Horn sections, too, are fairly cheap to rent out, okay? Not at all saying that the boys that play the horns aren't some of the best ever. But, as you can see, Walt's gone, and they haven't skipped a beat. So anyway, the crux of this video is kind of like, where's Waldo? Like, where's Walter? Uh, where's Jason? We kind of know where Jason is, but there are no announcements and why not celebrate Jeff Coffey? He's kicking ass. His vocals are fantastic. And you got Lou Pardini singing Call On Me. Why? I'm getting a migraine, okay? So I've, I've got to go. My next video, hopefully be something more positive. Jeff Coffey, you're doing awesome, brother. You're doing awesome. Fellow Floridian says, keep pushing, brother. Keep pushing.